Welcome to another wing build episode on my RC Scrappy. In today's video, it's all about making scale, looking ailerons and also the support brackets underneath the wing. All the target is to try to make these parts look as close as possible to Mike Pady's full scale scrappy build. This is what happens in today's video. Let's jump right into the build steps and have a closer look. First steps I had to do on the ailerons was to sand off some uneven edges and sand the edges to a perfect 90 degree angle. The stock shape wasn't that perfect. Then removed all the stock hinges and cleaned the hinges edges to change the stock hinges to custom hinges which work way better than the stock hinges. For the aileron extension I did the same steps like on the flaps. The only difference is because of the way longer ailerons in comparison to the flaps I had to increase the length of the carbon fiber extension. For this I had to glue together two pieces of my uh, one millimeter carbon plate. This is because my carbon plates are only 40 centimeters long and I had to increase them to the full length of the ailerons. To glue the two halves together I sanded the step into the halves to get a perfect connection and avoid a weak spot of the extension. To glue the extension to perfect straight shape I used the aluminum L profile, installed the carbon extension on this L profile like this I was sure to have a perfectly straight extension. Then glued on the aileron extensions, we were using 24 hour epoxy to the ailerons. Then it was time for another custom part, the aileron horns. Full scale Scrappy has these aileron horns to reduce the force on the aileron with massive uh, range of the aileron. I tried to rebuild the same thing. For this I used XPS foam, cut it to shape. And because of the wing is thicker than three centimeters, I had to glue together two three centimeter thick foam plates. For easier gluing of the horn onto the aileron, I sanded the step into the ailerons to give a perfect flat surface to glue these two parts together. The stock position of the outer end hinge was pretty far inside the ailerons. I moved the hinge as close as possible to the aileron horn. While the horn foam parts cured, I cut it, sanded and glued the parts to fill up the gaps of the stock rudder horns. For this I also used XPS foam, same step as on the flaps too. Then raw shaped the horns with a knife and glued the horns onto the ailerons, sanded the horn to shape, also just raw shape. For the final shaping I used a picture of full scale Scrappy's horns, scaled them to the right size, printed them and cut them out to make it possible to copy the template onto the horns of RC Scrappy. Like this I was able to sand a similar shape on RC Scrappy's rudder horns. Next step was to draw the cut lines into the wing to make the opening for the horn. Cut the openings with a hobby knife. The hole which I made with cutting the opening into the wing. I closed this with some foam. I cut it off the wing to later close that hole and make the wing look nice and clean. Then it was time to make the air fences. I made these out of one millimeter carbon fiber plate. I copied the design of full scale Scrappy's air fences, draw the shape onto the carbon plates, cut it and sanded the air fences to shape and sand them with 400 grit on the surface to get a matte finish. Finally glued them onto the ailerons using 10 minute epoxy. Then I draw the shape of the rudder horns to connect the servo to the ailerons. Copied the design of the stock rudder horn because the shape is already pretty good but way heavier so the stock rudder horns are around four times the weight of my custom horns. Cut it and sanded the horn to shape. Sand also the matte finish on the horn surface. 
and marked and drilled the 1.5 millimeter hole and filed the hole up to the exact diameter I used to have playlist fit with the rod ends. Then I copied the finished rod horn shape onto carbon for the second horn and repeated the whole process for the second rod horn. Then it was time to cut the slots into the ailerons glued the rudder horns into the ailerons using other less CA glue. On the servo rod and rod ends I did the same steps as on the flaps rods. I drilled the rod end hose 2.2 mm for a stronger connection, drilled and filed the servo horns for perfect fit with the rod ends, cut the 2.5 mm carbon rods, narrowed them on the ends to fit the rod ends perfectly and finally installed the ailerons and the rods and did a check with the movement of flap roll and flap mix. Next part were the support brackets which are installed underneath the wing. Full scale Scrappy has the support brackets to carry stuff like electric bikes and other stuff. So same steps here, like on other carbon plated parts, draw to the position on the wing. On this area of the wing, the wing is not hollow, so the wing is strong enough there to glue in the brackets and carry some stuff without pulling the brackets out of the wing. Then I cut the slots into the wing, installed the wing rod mounts to measure the exact length of the brackets I need then used again one millimeter carbon plate to make the brackets, cut them to raw length, sanded them to the final length and sanded around corners to get a better look of the brackets. Then I taped the brackets to draw all the drill hole positions, made a little hole with a nail to get perfectly lined up holes, drilled all the holes and during drilling I messed up one hole so the hole went way too big and to repair it I used a 24 hour epoxy, fill up the gap and redrill it and after painting the repair will be invisible. Then I sanded the whole surface again to matte finish also to clean up the whole drill holes, file the drill holes to a perfect round shape and it will fit uh, M3 screws. Then sanded also knife edges on the lower edge of the brackets for easy installation on the wing. And then finally did the fit check of the finished brackets and everything looked good so far. This is it on the progress of RC Scrappy. I'm really happy so far with the result. I'm looking forward to more build on the wing modifications. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for following me along. Happy flying. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.